In ancient days, there was a very poor area in Tibet, which had no rivers or good land, no warmth or fresh flowers, no trees or green grass. The people who lived there suffered from hunger and cold all year round and did not know what happiness was like. Despite this, they still believed that happiness must exist somewhere in the world. The old folk used it to say, Happiness is a beautiful bird living on a snowy mountain fall, far away in the east, wherever the bird flies. Happiness goes with it. Every year people went to look for this bird, but not one of them did ever return. The bird of happiness was said to be guarded by three old monsters who could kill a man by simply plowing through the long years. Once, an extremely bright boy called Wong Chia was sent to find the bird of happiness. On his departure, the girls of the village offered him barley wine, and the mothers, in accordance with Tibetan custom, spread barley grains on his head to wish him a good journey. Wang Jia walked eastwards for many days until he saw ahead of him a large mountain covered with snow that shone like silver. Just at that moment, an old monster with a black beard appeared in his path. Who got there? How dare you come here? My name is Ongsha and I have come to look for the bird of happiness. <laughs> How could a little child like you, no longer than yet, dare to set foot here? If you want to find the bird of happiness, first you must kill Lao Sun's mother. Otherwise, you will be punished. I don't need to do anything myself in order to kill a puny little thing like you. I will just make you walk 900 miles across the creek and you will be done for it. I love my own mother and I will never kill another person. Do as you please. The old monster flew into a race. He immediately began to blow through his beard. And in the twinkling of an eye, the smooth road became a vast screen. Every stone on it was as sharp as knife. After the third hundred miles, the soles of Wong Jia's boots were ripped apart by the stones. After the second hundred miles, his feet were cut to pieces. And after the third hundred miles, his hands were torn to shreds. This is a tough going. Will I ever make it? Had I better turn back now? No, never. He could not bring himself to turn back. He knew that the people at home were waiting for him to bring back happiness. Wang Chal lay on the ground and began to crawl forward. His clothes were torn and his knees and shoulders were bruised. Finally, he reached the end of his journey and there he found another old monster with a brown beard and a voice like whistling wind waiting for him. If you want to see the board of happiness, 
you must voice an old gaffer silong first if you won't do it i will starve you to death you can shout for all your worth but i am fond of my own grandpa and i will never kill another man In a fury the old monster played through his long beard and Wang Jie's bread bag flew into the sky before his eyes the blue mountains signed the green rivers or turned into a boundless desert with not a scrap of food to be found Wang Jia set off again. After the first hundred miles, his stomach began rumbling with hunger. After the second hundred miles, he was so hungry that his head swam and he began to see stars. After the third hundred miles, he was so hungry that there was a sharp pain in his guts, as if they were being cut by a knife. Anyone who has ever starved knows what he suffered. Wang Jia went to a river, drank plenty of cold water, and continued on his way. By the time he reached his journey's end, he nothing but skin and bone. There, in his path, stood another old monster with a white beard. What reckless fool has dared to come here? My name is Wang Jia, and I have come here to look for the bird of happiness. If you want to see the bird of happiness, you must bring me Bimo's eyeballs. If you dare to say no, I will gouge out your eyeballs at once. You must be dreaming. No one has the right to destroy a girl's pretty eyes. I will never gag Pima's eyes. The old monster screamed with rage. He immediately began to blow through his long ears, and Wang Jia's eyeballs jumped out of their sockets. and he became blind this must be the last ordeal i must keep going in the direction of the rising sun that must be the place where the bird of happiness lives groping his way with his hands on the ground Wang Jia crawled another 900 miles. He clambered to the peak of a snow-covered mountain, and there he heard the voice of the bird of happiness. My lovely child, have you come here for me? Yes, I have. I am very happy to see you. My people long to see you day and night. Please come back with me. The bird of happiness gives Wang Jia gently with its wings and sang for him. His eyeballs flew back to their sockets and now he saw much more brightly than before. All his wounds were healed and he was stronger than ever. The bird of happiness offered Wang Jia some dried meat and cream cake, and then he him back to his home place. They landed on a mountain top. What is that you want? We want warmth and happiness. Forests and flowers, fields 
and rivers standing on the mountain top the bird of happiness gave three loud cries at the first cry the golden sun broke through the clouds and a warm breeze came down from the sky at the second cry stretch upon stretch of forest appeared all over the mountains mountain peach and other mountain flowers bloomed together and thrushes and larks led a chorus of bird song at the third cry green rivers and fields came into view and little white rabbits danced merrily on the grass from that day on the people in that poor place never suffered hardships again <laughs>